Hello everyone. Welcome to YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about corrosive wear. What is corrosive wear? Corrosive wear is the material degradation wherein both wear and corrosion wear mechanisms are present. The effects of both wear and corrosion can result in intense damage or material losses. The effects can be more severe than when encountered either of these two mechanisms alone. Typically, surface failure such as erosion and abrasion results from the dynamic interaction between two surfaces. It is the kind of damage resulting from the synergistic attack of both wear and corrosion when it takes place within the corrosive setting. In this figure, it schematically represents how the surface corrosion takes place. Here, let us understand the models of interaction between a corrosive agent and our own surface. In the first one, we can see the process is dominated by the formation of durable lubricating films. If such films prevail, then the worn contacts are well lubricated and corrosive wear does not occur. However, very few corrosion product films are durable so that this category of film formation is very rare. In the second process, here the relative and the formation of a sacrificial or a short lifetime corrosion product film under the sliding contacts can be seen and this is a most common type of the corrosive wear. In the third process, it relates to the wear in highly corrosive media. In case of the fourth, here the process is effectively limited to extremely corrosive media where the corrosion products are very weak and are probably soluble in liquid media. Here let us understand the corrosive wear model. The model implies that a smooth worn surface together with corrosion products as a wear debris are produced during the wear process which is well confirmed in practice. Here in the figure, it suggests that the static corrosion data could be applied to find the wear rate which would obviously be extremely useful. Unfortunately, frictional temperature rises and mechanical activation during the process of tribo corrosion prevent this. Here, let us understand the mechanism of smoothening of worn surface. This is a common instance of corrosive wear, where this is due to the oxygen present in oil. It has been shown that for a steel contacts lubricated by oil, most of the wear debris consists of iron oxide and the removal of oxygen from the oil virtually eliminates the wear. When oxygen is present, the worn surfaces become smooth with no pits which indicates wear by periodic removal of a sacrificial film. This leads to the oxidative wear. In this figure, the mechanism of smoothing of the worn surface by the mild corrosive wear resisting resulting from atmospheric oxygen dissolved in the lubricating oil is shown. Now, let us understand the synergism between corrosive and abrasive wear. The model is based on cyclic film formation and removal by corrosive and abrasive action respectively. Material is lost in a pattern like the model of corrosive wear. This mechanism of wear prevails when the rate of mechanical abrasion under dry conditions is less than the corrosion rate without abrasive wear. When mechanical abrasion is more intense, corrosive effects become insignificant. Resistance of the materials under corrosion abrasion depends on their resistance to corrosion. Here, in this figure, we can see how the initial rapid corrosion takes place after the formation of passivating film and then loss of the film, then this cycle repeats. These are the references for the information provided in this video. Thank you for watching this video. And to get more information and updates regarding the topics related to tribology, do follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also visit to our website on www.tribonet.org.